What's hiding underneath things can be scary. Underwater, under your bed, especially what's under your carpet. Except when you get new carpet from Carpet One Floor and Home. After tearing up your old carpet, they'll vacuum and apply Healthinex antimicrobial to your subfloor, disinfecting and killing mold, mildew, and any remaining general awfulness. Carpet One Floor and Home goes the extra mile to protect you, your family, and your home. Carpet One Floor and Home in Columbia, making your home beautiful, guaranteed. Good morning, and welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, November the 15th. I've got an old friend <laughs> we haven't had on for a long time, Elizabeth Broughton Palmieri. Yes! Good to have you here again, the Greenhouse Theater Project. So, what has been going on during all these years that you oh haven't gosh. been here? I know, you know, well, the pandemic hit, Yeah. and uh, so there was that. But the funny thing is that Greenhouse kept working through the pandemic. We, we pivoted pretty quickly to um, a virtual, like a live virtual performance style. And mm-hmm. so uh, I think right away I did a one-woman show online that was live, and uh and we just kind of continued with that model, and then we had actors from all over the country uh, at performing together because we were performing on Zoom. And because everyone was home, trapped at home, our you know our audience numbers were pretty big. So it was Good. like it was actually you know not horrible for us. Um, and you know Greenhouse is non traditional, you know in their in our performance style and stuff anyway. So this was just kind of a, a new venue for us. So and, what have you uh, got going home? Okay, so we have a really interesting piece that I. I'm, I'm super excited about, a little nervous about because I've written it. Uh, so I always, you know, it's it's always a little bit of a different kind of stress when when it's your your right. hand on it. Um, but uh, I am collaborating with Shishmo, which is the State Historical Society of Missouri, and um, it's what Sh- this Shishmo. Shishmo. Okay, Shishmo. you got to be careful saying that. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. that, they have it on the sign, right? Yeah. You know, the okay. building's right across the, you know, the way here. Um, the State Historical Society of Missouri. And a couple years ago, um, a couple ladies from the archives there uh, reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in doing something with these love letters uh, that they had unearthed and they were um, transcribing. They were over 100 years old. Oh, really? Yes. And I thought, oh, well, okay, cool. Because people are always kind of coming to me with random things like this. Oh, would this does this inspire you? You want to do something with this? Um, so, yeah. So Heather Richmond and Beth Pike were the the two that, that came to me. And so I started doing a bunch of research a lot of reading. Uh, it was just kind of a lot of combing through. And the further, you know, I, I dug, the more I fell in love with with these these people from the past. So I'm focusing on this performance um, on Olive Gilbreth McLaurin, who is a native Missourian. She was from La Plata, and uh, she traveled the world. She left in 1915 and lived all over the place. And uh, the story focuses primarily on her travels. She was a travel writer and a writer in general. She wrote a couple books, but also she had a mysterious love affair that lasted almost 20 years via letters. And these letters are what the archives have here at Shishmo. And you're reading the letters in the... So there's a little bit of everything. Uh, there's a little bit of, it's it's kind of a history lesson meets performance. Mm-hmm. And it's a multimedia piece. So we have live music. Um, Gabe Meyer is going to be performing throughout the piece. Uh, Chelsea Myers has created video art that will be projected. And then we have two performers uh, actually performing. So it's kind of a, a mishmash of the letters, uh, but also her, her life and her okay. story. So this is running when? This is running November 17th through the 18th, so just okay. two nights only at the State Historical Society of Missouri, right over here. Okay, so yeah. November 17th and 18th, and, and 18th just mm-hmm. a couple of days from yep. now. How can people get tickets? We're out of time. Yep, tickets, www.greenhousetp.org. Okay, I remember that, Greenhouse TP. Dot org, and you can get your tickets online. That's Elizabeth right. Broughton Palmieri, thank you so much for thank coming by. Thank you so much. It's been great to be back. Please come back real I will. soon. I promise. Okay. Now, I want to introduce you to Janine Johnson with the Spay Neuter Project. Good to have you here, Janine. Thanks, Paul. It's great to be back. Uh, we were we were talking before you came on. How busy your organization is. Oh my gosh, we are we are getting calls like crazy. Um, we've done. 
In the last two months, we've done close to 800 surgeries. In August, we had um, just over 400 surgeries. In September, we had 397. That is good. It is great. That is I so mean, good. It is great. It's yes. a great problem to have. We're so busy, we can't keep up right now, but it's it, a great problem to have. Explain what the Spay Nuda Project is. Absolutely. So we're an affordable, um, low, um, high volume, high quality clinic for cats and dogs. So pet owners and rescues use us for spaying and neutering. Um, we also do vaccine clinics, so we can do vaccines for pets either at the time of surgery or during one of our vaccine clinic times. Yeah. And when you talk about how busy you are doing the surgeries, it makes me feel good because yeah. it, it, it sounds like more and more people are taking responsibility for their animals in a positive way as far realizing how important it is to spay and neuter. Yes, I, I mean, it. we talk about it being a, you know, a good and a bad problem. It's a great thing that people are educated that they are getting their pets spayed and neutered. Um, however, it's hard because we know there's so many more out there that are having to wait extra longer than they used to have to wait to get to us. I think it means that our clinic is obviously, um, people are aware of us, they know the services, they know the need in the community, and they are reaching out. And we absolutely love that we have now, feel like people are really are able to know and utilize our services. How long of a wait is there if someone wants to have a neuter or spaying? Um, for a cat, maybe about three weeks. Okay. Um, for a dog, it really depends on the size of the dog. So dogs are a little different in that we schedule surgeries by weight. So if it's a large dog, it could be three weeks to four weeks. Now, when the, the animal is neutered or spayed, do they come in and go home the same day? They do. We are a same-day surgery. So drop-off is between 7.30 and 8 in the morning. Pickup is at 4, and we close at 5.30. Um, we give... We go over post-op instructions as well as hand out post-op instructions for people. Um, you know, the most important thing is keeping your pet calm and quiet after surgery so that they can heal. It's kind of like us humans. Right. We go home and we have a really good day and we're feeling good and we're bouncing around. And the next day we may not feel so great. So that's the kind of same thing as your pet. You know, calm and quiet. Don't let them overdo it. Don't go jogging with you. Don't let them run off leash. Right. Just be right. really calm and quiet. We're almost out of time, but do you have statistics on... How many unwanted, and it's, I, I don't like saying unwanted animals sure. because I, I love them, but the fact is there are not enough people to go around with all the right. animals that are right. here. Well, if a cat is not spayed or neutered, how many... How many young kittens can come into the world with one cat? With one cat? Okay. Um, we have a Facebook post with some cat math. I'm going to encourage everybody to look at it. But it can be hundreds, if not thousands, from one cat having litters who is not spayed. Yes. And then her children have, have litters. Have children thousands. within months. So, but by spaying one cat, you can save thousands of thousands lives. Thousands of lives. Thank you so much. Janine. Oh, thanks, Paul. We appreciate Spain, it. Uh, a Facebook spay-neuter project.